Randy Weddick. I'm the technical consultant at Band Pro Film and Digital. We just uh, completed another short film, this time on the Canon C500, and I want to tell you a little bit about it. We have a list of locations we're always interested in working with, and uh, on this shoot we chose to shoot at the Avalon Theater on Catalina Island. It's the first theater in the world that was designed to be a sound movie theater. The Catalina Express Ferry was nice enough to take us out there. Well, let's talk a little bit about the camera. We use the Canon C500, which is related to the C300 and the C100 in a lot of ways, but we shot it in 4K RAW mode. On set, the camera's a real breeze to work with. It's very small, light, sort of easily balanced, and uh, you can do a lot of different operating tricks with it because it's so small. We were running on a Steadicam Pro, which is a great rig, and it had a great operator, Ben Verholst. We had that set up uh, with an EF mount C500, and also we had EF mount primes in the front of that. For focus control, we were using a uh, Compact One system from C-Motion, which is a new system. Of the Canon primes we shot on, I spent a lot of time on the uh, 25, but the lens that I came away probably most impressed with was the 14 millimeter. We use this as our primary lead and follow lens in the movie theater, and um, we're pretty close with it. It's so, the geometry is so square and so good on it that it, it doesn't distort as much, but it gives you this increased sense of speed as we're backing up or tracking behind our lead actress. It gave this kind of uh, verti vertigo type movement to uh, the steady cam shot, which I liked a lot. So in addition to the Canon Primes, we also had a 30 to 300 zoom what I really like about that lens is you can just hammer it with light and it gets, it's got such a complicated optical design that you can get these amazing flares coming off of it. The other setup we had was a handheld setup and that typically was uh, what I was operating with, a setup very similar to the uh, Steadicam rig but with a PL mount and with uh, like a Sumacron glass on it. What was interesting about the like us is they have really nice geometry to them. So when you're playing very close, even with a wide lens, there's some stuff where we're way up there with an 18 or a 21 or a 25, which are typically wide lenses, and we're right up next to our actress, and um, it looks great. It's not distorted like a previous generation lens. So we've got this fantastic lens combination on this amazing sensor, and then what do we output it to? We're going out through a single SDI out to an Odyssey 7Q made by Convergent Design, which is, if you guys have used this before, it's a pretty incredible OLED monitor in the first place. It's a touch screen. It's got all your engineering tools on there, a histogram, a waveform, vector scope. It's got signal analysis, you can do uh, focus checking, exposure checking, all that stuff. You can apply LUTs, it does all this stuff, but in addition to being a really killer monitor, it's also a RAW recorder. And we had it with the uh, Canon RAW license, so we were able to record the 4K 10-bit log uh, RAW format, the RMF files coming off the Canon. We use an off-the-shelf Thunderbolt reader for the SSDs and transferred the footage into some G-Raids from GTAC. It was a really easy workflow. The C500 has built-in neutral density filters in it, but it's also a really sensitive camera, so sometimes that's just not enough to get you down to the stop that you want to be at. So we were able to uh, use Tiffin's NDIR filters in addition, and that was really, uh, those, those filters were really well matched to each other. For anything that was primarily a close-up of our lead actress, I busted out my all-time favorite filter, which is the uh, Tiffin Black Diffusion one half, which I find is just superb on a uh, Super 35 imager camera. 
It just um, does such a good job of keeping sharpness and delivering a little bit of skin tone smoothness. It's a really subtle filter and that's uh, the type of filters I like to use. So. We were able to get a Cartoni tripod head for this shoot um, and usually I use the master but I knew this was going to be a really small crew run and gun kind of a crazy shoot. So I opted to get a smaller tripod head this time, the Delta, which is a, sort of an EMG style tripod. And we use that with the 3300. Um, we use that with any of the lenses really and it, um, it held up really nicely in the field and it was also just a great lightweight but yet heavy duty tripod head. For the PL mount camera, we had it rigged up with a bunch of move cam accessories and um, we had you know, battery plates, handheld rig, sliding balance plate. We were able to jump between studio and handheld mode really quickly. I just really like the, the modularity of that. It's just great when you're in a fast moving set. The two biggest takeaways I have from this are the color science on the C500 is incredibly advanced and the ability to capture skin tones and complicated environments, deeply saturated colors way down into the shadows, way up into the highlights, and having a huge amount of room to move around in post was a really new experience for me. Number two, the size of the camera. The camera's really small, and even with all the stuff we have on it, it's really small, really cool package to allow us to get kind of uh, improvisational. We were able to put it on the floor, or, you know, Travel around the ground, all kinds of stuff. So, got some really great shots with it that I wouldn't have gotten on a larger camera. Um, I could go on like this forever, but really, it's best if you just reach out to us uh, through the internet. So, if you want to just check us out at bandpro.com or link up with us on Facebook, that's the best next step. And uh, look forward to talking to you there.